Hey guys, Chris Campbell of Chris Campbell's Analog Life, and today is yet another step in my machining journey, in my CNC milling journey. Uh, I am going to try to cut a pocket into some metal. So this is a first for me. I'm going to try and actually, um, you know, actually I got some aluminum. So um, you can see, you might be able to see, hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, I've got some aluminum mounted in the vise there. Uh, it's a two inch wide by three quarter inch high by, I don't even know what that is, probably eight inch wide or so. I actually got a uh, whole bunch of nice scrap aluminum to play with. I uh, got a good deal at a local place. So, nice benefit of uh, living in the industrial wasteland that is Cleveland is there's a lot of old, I mean there's still a lot of business here, but there's a lot of shops that uh, sell this stuff and have scrap and stuff. So, I got a really great deal, like a buck fifty a pound for 60, 61 aluminum. So, uh, yeah, I've got some in there now. I've also, uh, I got some new toys. So, I started out with just some of the uh, high, -speed cut, high speed steel cutters that came with the Tag Mill. Uh, so this is a, this one is one eighth with a three sixteen shank. Uh, there's also a three sixteen uh, cutter flute cutter with a three sixteen shank. Um, but then I started getting oh that's this one okay and so then I ordered some other ones. Uh, I was really focused on detail work which is kind of silly uh, and you'll see why in a second. But uh, I ended up ordering a couple. I guess I didn't quite do the math on. And what what it would be when you get down into the you know once you get below the three sixteenth one eighth one sixteenth it starts to dive off pretty rapidly and uh, I don't know if you can see that but that is the size that is a one sixty fourth I went a little overboard I think so um, I'm not sure I'll ever need this but uh, you know I'll have it uh, pretty cool looking bit these are all carbide ones I got them off industrial oh, what did I, I don't even remember this I don't remember I remember the shipping was terrible. Uh, but you got a whole range of different cutters, some ball nose, some flat end mill. This one's not too bad. This is a 1 16th, 4 flute. Uh, I think it's a 3 16 shank, or uh, rather 3 16 shoot flute. And the whole thing overall is 1 and a half inches. So that one actually will be useful for detailing work. I'm not sure if I like, I don't really like how it tapers down. I really do like on, on this original one I have how it's, um, how it actually just is the same, the same width all the way through. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one is one thirty second, so this one's pretty tiny as well. Um, you know, and really, I'm probably not going to need these. I, I I really overestimated how small I would need. So one sixty fourth is actually about about sixteen thou, um, and the chances I'll need that at least in the beginning are very low. But I also went in the other direction, and this is what I'm actually very excited about. Uh, this is also one sixteenth. Uh, where'd he go? Well. These are the ones I'm really excited about. This is a one half, so it's a three eighths inch shank with a one half inch cutter, two flute, gold coated. This is actually high speed speed steel. Actually, I don't know what the, the coating is. It looks gold, but I don't think it actually is gold. That'd be silly. But super sharp, super awesome. Uh, and then the one I'm actually going to cut with first. Oh, I wish I had it now. Where did I put it? Ah, here we go. Four flute. Carbide. Uh, looks like I don't even remember what the. Oh, this is eh, the wrong tube here. So it is. It is a three eighths inch wide, three eighths uh, flute length, and then overall two and a half inch. This thing is going to be a beast. And this is actually what I'm going to cut with first. I uh, I did a one inch by one inch pocket in a cam program, and it's ridiculous just how few passes I'll need. So uh, hopefully I'm not overdoing it, but. We'll see. I'm, I'm just really excited to try this out. So let's uh, let's give it a shot. And one more thing, although it's never looked cool in the history of man, gotta have safety first. All right, I'm a little nervous, but here we go.
Well, looks like it made it. Let's see. Yep, that's about a one inch pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you can tell I kind of went a little too fast there. I was a little overzealous. I think I was still on the, uh, the foam feed rates. And that, uh, it seemed, it felt like it seemed like it was going a little fast yet, but uh, bit held up well. Didn't seem like there was too much slippage. You kind of hear it at the beginning. There might have been a little bit of as it was starting up. I might need to tighten up the the belt up uh, up here. But uh, overall, nothing blew up, which is what my uh, my main goal was. This thing's a beast. Uh, so yeah, and I stayed safe. So all in all. I'd say it was uh, pretty successful. So now I have to go and find out how loud that was upstairs and how much it bothered the rest of my family. Thanks for watching.